Got my Yamaha Grizzly 700. It's the power steering. It's the ES. Or no, 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 start over. It's not ES. Start over. You gotta delete it. Delete this. I messed up. Just keep going. No. One whole, one whole video. Just I cut start, it. Just start it over. No, one whole video. I cut it. Just start it over. It's already too late. No, like, I no, can, dude, just start, just start talking. Right. Okay. All right, guys, I got my 2019 Grizzly 700. Uh, 700 cc, it's really 686, but they just started a new motor for the 2019 models. They went back to the old ones. But it's got power steering and everything. I got 1,103 miles on it. Um, I bought it in September. It, good machine, I like it. Uh, plenty of power for me. It's like a steady power. It's not just, it's not jumpy in the trails at all. I'd really, I'd, I'd recommend it for sure. Uh, we'll go to Logan's four wheeler. Uh -huh. Logan, he's got a 2018 Suzuki King Quad. It's a 400, but All right, honestly, hang on, time out. Shut your damn mouth. You see, see he's got some 28 inch badass tires. Uh, custom back rack, as you can see, it's customized, right? Yeah. I like to bent, you and know, broken. it's not even on. It's cut right <laughs> off, it's all right. Like that, as you can see, it's got snorkel K here. This is the tester. Zane's like a little bitch. He's like, Logan, go out there. Let me know how deep it is. I go right out, goes through anything. Better than that piece of shit grizzly. Anything else here, goes through everything. All right. Okay, uh, Evan, Evan Kurtz, he's got a 2017 Scrambler 1000. Uh, it's got a lot of power top and bottom end power um you know bottom end you can you can pull a wheelie all day top end you can ride 90 miles an hour the easiest one to pull a wheelie yeah i mean definitely it's got a lot of power uh i'm not really i don't care for players but it's it's a decent machine i mean it, it is what it is so i like it i would recommend one actually <laughs> just for the power and the, the amount of fun you can have on it but yeah. cole dean he's got 2001 Foreman, Honda Foreman 450. Uh, I would recommend a Honda to anyone. Uh, they're really reliable. They don't have a whole lot of power, but as far as reliability, you can't beat them. Uh, I think they got like 35 horse, uh, top speed like 55 ish. Uh, he's got a snorkel on it. Uh, he put it in himself. <laughs> We're going to test it out tonight. Hopefully it works. But yeah, I mean, his is his, you have to shift it actually with your foot, but you really, once you get used to it, you really don't pay attention to it. And uh, they're really reliable. They're a little bit smaller, so they maneuver really well. But yeah, I mean, the Honda is definitely a great motor, great four wheeler, very reliable. I would recommend. I've actually had this exact four wheeler, and I loved it while I had it. So then we got 2004 Suzuki Iger. It's a 400. It's four wheel drive. Uh, I mean, these things are absolutely bulletproof. You can beat on it. You can change. You don't have to change the oil. I mean, I highly recommend you do, but you really don't. These things are just absolutely bulletproof. Uh, a lot of people say these Japanese-made four-wheelers are the way to go. And for what I've seen lately, I definitely agree with it. I would I would honestly recommend one of these. If I could find one for a good price, I would probably buy one too myself. So I recommend one of these as well. Now, Mason's Polaris Sportsman 450. I don't know a lot about them, but the things I do like about it, Absolutely the most top storage you're ever gonna find in a four-wheeler. It's small, it's gonna maneuver great. It's not gonna have crazy power like the 1000, but reliability, I think it's gonna be more there so than the 1000. But I rode it around the yard today and I thought it had plenty of power for being a 450 and being what it is. I liked it, it's smooth, it handles smoothly, it's tight, everything's great on it. Uh, but Mason hasn't got to go on a real rip ride so we'll test and we'll see what it's like tonight. I'm sure Mason will come back in with you tomorrow with a recap of how everything went and how well he liked his four-wheeler and everything. And he got a really great price, so you get a good deal. You can't pass him up sometimes. But well, we'll get back with you some, with some trail riding and some mud and hopefully. So we'll see you guys later. We're at the Gville Way. We're in a wheat field. I'll go watch the fireworks, you know. I'm at a family friend's right now, so. Uh... <laughs> fireworks going off right behind them. Yeah, it was a good time. We came up here and everyone wanted to watch fireworks. That's a new perfect spot. Never been here before to watch fireworks, but we rode the four wheelers through the woods and everything. It was a good time. So we're going to enjoy these fireworks while we can. Now we're going to get back to riding. Yep. This fucking bitch. We're making them dirt road dollars. <laughs>